So this is just a no gi version of that Tomoe, it's a Juji. Um, we work on getting a big meat hook here and driving this elbow in by really isolating this arm. This is key. You've got to have this arm trapped to be able to do this Juji. So when I'm here, I do the same sort of mechanics otherwise. I'm collapsing him in. I'm stepping to the outside if possible. I'm putting my foot up on his hip or up here if I have to. But from there, I just give a big spin. And all the way around, I like to keep his head hooked the whole time and really sink up tight on the shoulder. Just lay back to the Juji. Now, that is a, a great setup. It's a spinning Juji Gatami, Tomoe Nagi to spinning Juji Gatami type thing. But we're using it here as a throw as well for Tomoe Nagi. So here we go, there's a throw. And you notice, not only did he spin him over, he was applying the arm lock as he threw Derek. So that's why this is kind of a double trouble thing for a throw, a and not just a throw, but a transition to Juji Gatami. So there we have that, catch it over, there we go. And I will say this, uh, you guys probably were there at that tournament a number of years ago with one of the Freestyle Nationals. Uh, we had an athlete throw another guy for, with this throw for any pawn. I was the referee. And he threw him with this very move. He caught it a little, little different than you, the way you do it, Mike. Of course, he had a gi on. But in any event, he did this. He threw him flat on his back and had, immediately had him in a juji gatami. He didn't need to apply the juji. I called a pawn. And the, the opponent's coach who got thrown, he said, well, why was that a pawn? I said, he threw him with control and onto his back with force. All the elements for in judo, an pawn in judo. And he could have finished with Juji if I didn't say anything. So he was really trying a flying Juji Gatami or jumping Juji Gatami spin under, you know, Tomone. Right but he threw him so cleanly, just like you're doing here, Mike. So it's kind of double trouble. So do that again. And, uh, but notice, uh, everybody watching the video, what, l l let's come out, Mike, start, stop again. Look at that tie up. Now look at how Mike, with his right elbow, is going to steer. Now he's got that, okay, now c come around the other side, Mike, your right elbow. Now watch as he steers under. See how he throws under and he catches that over. So as Mike is sw spinning under for the Tomoanagi, as it were, he's throwing his right elbow into the center of Derek's body. Do that one more time, Mike. And there you go, good. Now he's doing that quite slow. It looks like he's spinning Tomoanagi to Juji, but we're really doing this as a throw. So now put a little juice on it. I know Derek will love that. Boom. <laughs> that wasn't quite so much juice, but that was okay. You're getting tired, we've done a whole lot of them. But that's the idea of it, guys. A, um, a spinning Tomoanagi, no gi, with that, uh, that head and arm, but really emphasis on the right elbow you go right into a Juji Gatami. So you got a little double trouble Juji Gatami. One more time, we'll get it here. Right on top, and you can finish there the Juji. So double trouble Juji Gatami in a no-gi situation. Again, we could be doing this with, with Judo Gis or Sambo Gis on as well. There we have it.